Hey, Eagles! Happy Pentecost weekend! Pentecost weekend. It's such an exciting time to be alive and to commemorate the empowering of the body of Christ here on earth on Pentecost weekend. There's nothing like when the Holy Spirit invades our homes, our hearts, our lives, and then sets us ablaze with an assignment to accomplish what he's called us to do. This is one of the reasons why we celebrate it. We're believing today for breakthrough. Yeah. We're believing today that even though you're, you're streaming this at a particular time, point in time, you're going to be able to revisit this and play it again and again and actually have another encounter with God and another encounter with God and another encounter with God. We're believing that there's going to be such grace on this experience that you're going to revisit it. It's going to be a place of well where you're going to just drink from it and that anytime you feel low, oh glory, anytime you feel like you're thirsty, I really believe God's going to release a refreshing tidal wave through our time together. I'm excited. We're here ready to worship the Lord. Are you ready to worship? I'm ready. Are you ready? I am so ready. I feel it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. His presence. Service, oh guys. my Let's goodness. Connect. Be ready, be Let's ready. Connect. Let's do it. Let's, go. Let's worship the Lord.
talking about sensationalism I'm not talking about things that are worked up in the natural but really what they experienced on Pentecost was something supernatural that was beyond the scope of their ability to manipulate and control they just got in one place together they just got with one accord they just got there to see Jesus they just got there with like precious faith and they just asked him to do something they couldn't do there was something that they knew they couldn't do that only God could do and so right now in this moment all you have to do is be in a place where you realize there is something that I can't do. I need God to do.
from today. This is not just an ordinary day, but there's an opportunity, an opportunity for you to engage Holy Spirit in a way you've never engaged him before. The beautiful thing about Holy Spirit is that his descension upon us was not just the idea of feels and thrills. It's not the idea of things that we can do and just to experience, to run around, to holler and scream. But Holy Spirit, the scripture says, came as the helper. Uh, in the Greek, the paraclete. He is the one that comes beside you to be able to complete your godly assignment in every area of your life. And I believe that as you're watching today, there is an opportunity that's been given to you to engage Holy Spirit anew and afresh. Some of you have been walking with the Lord for some time, but there has been a worshiping your time of praise God is giving you an upper room experience the opportunity to come into elevated places with him it was not happenstance that they would meet in a higher place do you understand the enemy wants us to be stuck in the low places the enemy wants us to be stuck in the places where he moves low level thinking low level operating low level uh, mindsets but God sing to the hill of the Lord just like in the upper room God is opening up an opportunity for you so right where you are in your home I want you to get up if you're laying down if you're sitting on your couch stand up get ready to praise it and worship God in a new way and I feel like the wind of God is about to blow right there in your home let's sing it again just like just like
one set upon each of them. The Bible says in verse 4 of Acts 2, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and begin to speak with other tongues as yes. the Spirit gave them utterance. I know we are in a season of the church that makes people more comfortable than God himself. But I believe that we're going back to the model yes. that was laid out in Acts chapter 2. That the church was born, she was birthed full of power. Yes. And you cannot separate the power of God from Holy Spirit. Duh. And then you can't take away Holy Spirit's language. He has a language that he gives us the opportunity to engage him with. And this may be new for some of you watching, but I believe that Holy Spirit wants to fill you was promised in Acts chapter 2. He wants to fill you with the Spirit of God and even give you the opportunity to be able to pray in the language of the Spirit. So right where you are right now, if you're filled with the Spirit, and even if you desire to be filled, if you desire to be filled, just lift your hands right where you are. It's that simple. Just lift your hands and say, Lord, fill me with the Holy Ghost. Lord, fill me with Holy Spirit. Fill me with Holy Spirit. I believe that right where you are by faith, you will have it uh, and you get the opportunity to be able to engage. I want us just for the next few moments uh, yeah. to lift our voice and pray in the spirit. Yeah. The Lord is about to do something right there. The wind uh, of heaven is getting ready to blow right there in your home. Uh, come on, right where you are. Just lift up your voice uh, and pray. The time. but that there would be an experience that men and women could have in modern day history and culture. And he gathered together a 
group of people from all kinds of backgrounds into a house. Some of you worshiping the day at your house. And I believe that God is into doing things uniquely in houses. Don't get me wrong. Something very beautiful about gathering in the sanctuary of God. But there's also something very unique about the houses in America. And I believe we focus so much on gathering in the temple in the four walls of the church and we forgot about the work that God wants to do in houses. And right where you are today, I believe that your house is on the mind of God. There's something that God wants to break out and all it takes is faith. You see, William Seymour believed. In 1905, he believed Mm. that he could see something happen. He moved to Los Angeles in 1906. And he came to a place where he began to gather these folks together in the presence of the Lord, believing for something to happen. A small group of new followers, they, they, they went to the home of Richard and Ruth Asbury at 214 North Bonnie Bray Street. Um, it's interesting because even in that day, white families from local holiness churches begin to attend as well. It was this idea that even though in that day, more than even in our day, there was this strong separation of the races. But William Seymour showed us this gathering together of people who don't sound and look like each other. Didn't we see it in Acts 2? The Bible said that men were watching, they were listening, and they heard their own language. It was that the dividing walls that existed, Holy Spirit, when we really lean into him, gives us the opportunity to erase the dividers. They gather together, they begin to pray, and something beautiful begin to happen. The power of God begin to move, and people who had not certain gifts before begin to function. And it was one lady who was in the house who had never played the piano before, but as Holy Spirit descended in Bonnie Bray House, as they call it now, the, 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 the stories go rather that she began to play classically right there, the piano, even though she hadn't before power of God began to feel so much in the place that the, the hospital's stories go started bringing the sick to the revival. It all started in a house. We, 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 we got to move it. I want to say this to you. I want to ask you the prophetic question today. What could God do in your house? If today you would make a decision, God, I, I, I want to receive you in a brand new way and maybe Maybe, maybe it's not the whole world gets affected by your faith like William Seymour's faith, but maybe, maybe it's good enough for your block. Yeah. Maybe what happens in your house, maybe, maybe it becomes big enough for the apartment complex that you live in to be affected by. What could God do from your house? Yes. God's creating a, a place, an epicenter for revival, for the awakening of hearts where you live. Today is an awesome opportunity to not just sit back and memorialize what Holy Spirit did in Acts 2, but to receive him afresh and say, Lord, do it in my home. Right where you are watching today, would you just simply lift your hands to the Lord and say, Lord, do it in my house. Do it do it in my house. Do it in my house. I, I got to tell you that the movement of God began to move so beautifully out of Los Angeles, California, where Rhea William Seymour led this thing, and it became the awakening for revival yes. and Pentecost uh, understanding and belief around the world. I believe God's about to do something unique in your house. Your house is about to never be the same again because of your yes. And so I prophesy right now in-house revival. Revival. I prophesy right now that your natural sons and daughters, your husbands and your wives yeah. are coming alive in Christ yeah. and you're about to experience something fresh and new. He's not just going to do it again. He's about to do it better than you've ever seen before. And so I bind the enemy that's yeah. trying to convince you that your house, your city, your neighborhood, your apartment complex was going down. But I moving.
on your behalf. Right where you are, just lift your hands and just take a moment and receive. Father, we thank you for what you're doing, how you're moving, your plan and your idea for your children. We receive it today. We receive it today. We receive it today. There's something so unique on what God's doing in Ecos where the Lord is awakening that. And the Lord spoke to me when I was preparing for this time. He said, I'm doing something in houses once again. And God has uniquely positioned the two of you to be a part of revival that happens in houses. Some people have given up so much faith in traditional ways of gathering. And, and some would look upon what you're building and say, oh, that's giving people excuses not to come together. Or that's giving people excuses not to be a part of a normal church. But what you're doing is so unique and special. And in the days to come, God is going to begin to show you the fruit of your yes in a brand new way. This was not a a uh, cute idea and it was not a filler of time and it was not a transition moment but this was the thing that God had birthed you the birth you the birth from the beginning even from your mother's wombs and God is about to use this in such a unique way and you will hear about very strange stories and unique stories about people who begin to log on and begin to tell the stories of how it affected their homes but the Lord says I'm raising you up to be those that bring resurrection power to houses and the Lord and I'll begin to cause our house groups to begin to gather and to rise up all across the nation and even the globe. For the Lord says, what I will do through you will not be contained in America, but even through the power of the internet. I will cross the borders to you, said the Spirit of God. For the Lord says, I will download to you brand new strategy and I'll give you the answers and I'll give you the, the know how and, and what to do and who to gather and how to make this happen. But the Lord says, focus your attention feel like the Lord is challenging someone in your home to say yes in a fresh way and not just out of religion and not just because it's churchy but I actually feel like there's some things that you have withheld a yes from the Lord with because of hurt 
because of rejection, because of past wounds, because your calculations, you've been there, done that, you know how it's going to turn out. Except that you're not God and that he's got a way and he wants to actually redeem what you lost, but you have to give him your yes. So right now, I'm just praying for, for you that the fresh grace of the Lord would be released upon you to say yes again, to say yes again. We say yes. Oh, and I see over our nation. I see the fathers over our nation. America, 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 will you give the Lord a fresh yes? Will you not politicize this yes? Will you, will you, will you, will you give the Lord a fresh yes? America, I speak to the heart of our nation. I speak to the heart of our nation and I call you out of your camps and your corners. Will, 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 we, will we leave behind us those things that have made us combative and not yielded? Will, will we as a nation say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes, say yes. I'm talking to you, Republican. I'm talking to you, Democrat. Will you lay down for just a moment or maybe for an eternity what you held so dear and tell God yes one more time? What if the breakthrough for our nation is, is on the other side of the greatest, hardest, most difficult yes you've ever given him? And this time, and this time, we'll say hata hata handa. And this time, Yes, I see a resounding yes, a fresh yes coming from homes, hearts, and communities. And I actually see a stadium. But I see the stadium being filled from the ground up. Oh, oh, oh. I see homes and hearts. I see homes filling stadiums. This is weird. But I see homes filling stadiums and the grace of apostolic voices that are being released in the nation that's actually catching wind from homes and hearts and communities that are saying yes again. Where well, I see the Lord bringing together a unique partnership of those who have been called to stadiums and those who have been called to homes. Oh, 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 ha ha, ra da da ka ha. And I see a fresh mantle being released on strategic voices in homes and in stadiums. And I say to those who have been called to homes and have resisted and almost with a chip on your shoulder looked at stadiums, hear the heart of the Lord open up, open up. Open up. Yes, there has been, there has been uh, perverse commercialization of, of gatherings. Yes, they've been all. But listen, but if your heart is to please the Lord, we must say yes to what he says yes to. And I hear the heart of the Lord reaching to those who have, who have gathered in stadiums. And maybe there have been people that you felt were beneath your scope of influence they you couldn't they were so low they just had 20 people they had 15 people but the father is challenging you to see his hand in every place because that will be a key for the breakthrough that the stadium gatherers are seeking and that will be a key to the breakthrough that those in homes are seeking so father we say yes lord this pentecost sunday you gathered in a, in a house and sent it to the world. The stadiums are filled now because we started in the house. Oh, so the, the two go together, Lord. Show us how to be together. Show us how to walk together. Help us to champion your great agenda, your agenda for this end times. And, and brother, may I just say, I, I saw the, the Holy Spirit sending another wave for there was a wave that hit you and your ministry in 2018 and 2019. And then there was another wave that hit 
your ministry in 2021. But I tell you, oh, hallelujah. But I see another wave. And this wave, I heard the word tidal wave. It, my God, it will be bigger than any previous wave. And there will be influence, but there will be glory. There will be glory. There will be glory that shall be revealed and released in stadiums through you. And there will be spaces that will reach out in fresh ways that have seemed to grow cold. There were those who called even last year saying, oh, we are interested in dot, dot, dot. And then you heard not another word, but the Holy Spirit says, the Holy Spirit says, I will cause your name to come up again. And I will set you in spaces because you have held dear to allegiance to my word and my plan. Father, I thank you right now. Come on, ecos everywhere, body of Christ everywhere. Let's just agree right now. Father, send my brother to every place you want him to go. And let there not be one obstruction that is able to hinder his impact and reach. We declare in the name, oh, Rabbi Lebeha, we declare in the name of Jesus, fresh influence, fresh influence, fresh influence, fresh, 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 fresh. Break the boxes, break the circles, break the clicks, let him in, let him in to the glory of God. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you for the word that he is held, he is heralding. And I see. I see even a greater reach. I see a mantle and a door opening for government influence. There shall be an increase of your voice and influence into pop culture. And there also shall be an increase of influence on your voice to government officials. The kings are calling. The kings are calling. The kings are calling. The kings are calling. Kings of culture, kings of government. The kings are calling. The kings are calling. And like my servant Samuel Dora da Karan de 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 and like my Destora da Kate, and like my servant Samuel, you shall have a ready word, and so shall I honor the word that comes out of your mouth. It shall not fall to the ground. The kings are calling, and when they call, make no delay. When they call, make no delay. I will make room. I will make room for you to sit at the king's table with fresh divine influence. Father, we give you praise right now. We pray your blessings and protection over his whole family, over the ministry, and I declare that the ministry has what it takes to stand up under this assignment. I declare that the ministry has what it head of a soul. Oh, I declare that the ministry, the ministry partners, the intercessors, the prophets that are gathered around him. Oh, oh, the whole team, the squad, the squad, the squad has what it takes to bear up under this fresh assignment. I thank you that the finances are flowing. Yes, in the name of Jesus, fresh and full. I declare in the name of Jesus, full supply in every area. Thank you for full supply in the meeting. Media door opening up the media door opening up the media door opening up wide in the name of Jesus father we thank you we don't take these moments lightly these are not these are not quid pro quo prophetic moments these are not tit for tat prophetic moments these are holy moments kissed by your word and we say every word of yours is true and it shall surely speak and not lie. Oh, it shall tell Tondo For even, there's this thing I have to say, even as the great servant of God, Bishop 
Blake in California has now shifted into an emeritus role. There is an inheritance for you in the spirit that as this servant and general begins to transition into greater reward, you will see and inherit a statesman-like anointing and grace and favor that shall come upon you. For it is a part of the inheritance of the Lord that the Lord has intended for your home and household and ministry, even from your youth. And it has not been forgotten, but it has been set into safekeeping for such a time as this. And even as the servant of God begins to make transitions even in his heart that have not been spoken of, there shall be, oh, an inheritance that is unlocked to you and released upon your ministry, even in California and even in other places of the world. For the Lord shall give to you new spaces, new regions, new territory. Oh, 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 you have heard right. For there is an inheritance of land and influence. Oh, 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 oh. For even as there was an outpouring and a receiving from the great Kim Clement, hey, and there was an impartation of Bishop Blake, so shall there be a convergence of the fresh, unhindered, prophetic move of God and true Pentecostalism. And And even as those streams have not seemed to flow together, you shall be a voice that releases a fresh merging of true Pentecostalism and the prophetic with authority and great dignity. The kings are calling. We commit, Lord, we commit as a family of faith, as he goes everywhere, we commit, we bow to cover our brother and his family on their mission and assignment. And we declare that the wind is at his back. Oh, ho, 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 yes, 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 yes. And the sun is on his face. We declare he has favor that cannot and will not be denied. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you just, whoo, hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, glory, glory. Only Jesus. There's some things that only Jesus can do. Only Jesus can do this. We acknowledge your sovereignty, Lord. We acknowledge your sovereignty, Lord. Oh, we acknowledge your sovereignty. We say you're holy. Right in your homes right now, just love him. Love him and receive. Receive the fresh waters are flowing into your space right now. We're going to build the family of God around the presence of God. We're going to do it in homes and hearts by the Spirit of God. If you've not placed faith in Jesus, do it now. If you want to, just repeat after me, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner and need a Savior. I believe you're the Son of God and that you died for my sins, that you rose from the dead. Come into my heart and be the Lord of my life, now and forever. If you prayed that prayer or some version of that in faith, right now Jesus is the Lord of your life. We would love to go on this journey with you. Text them the word live to the number on the screen and we'll reach out to you. But there's such a sweet presence even right now. I would encourage you just to maintain your posture with him even now. Oh, because he's pouring what can't be poured by man. Oh, this is Pentecost. Oh, this is Pentecost. When he pours what man can't give you. When he gives you something heavenly. When he gives you something that you didn't deserve or earn. 
This is Pentecost. When he meets you in a place with goodness that blows your mind. Tells you that he has a purpose for you and gives you all the power and grace you need to fulfill it. Oh, you're worthy and we love you. You're worthy and we love you. You're worthy and we love you. We bless you guys. Have an awesome, awesome week and weekend. And let Jesus just wash over you. Be with him. Be with him. And watch him set your life on a course that there are no words for just like he did for the 120 in that upper room. Richest blessings to you this Pentecost weekend. Be blessed.